All right, so big day for the Saints as Drew Brees announces on Instagram, the, the day and age that we live in, that now athletes announce on social media is pretty crazy, but Drew Brees announces on Instagram that he couldn't be more excited about the 2020 season, that he was embracing the grind, he can't wait to come back and, and make another run at this uh, Super Bowl one more time for really the fourth straight season now that we feel like the Saints are still within that Super Bowl window. Uh, so big news um, for the Saints, especially... Uh, given the fact that we're you know just in the middle of Mardi Gras right now, now you can sit back, relax, enjoy your king cake, not be worried about it when you're going to Toth and Bacchus and Endymion this weekend. Now you know that Drew Brees is coming back. We don't know all the details right now as far as what his contract is going to look like. I would imagine it's going to be something similar to the last deal that he signed where he's making you know somewhere in the neighborhood of like 25 to $30 million per year. But uh, you know as many fans know out there, there's a lot of de uh, dead money racked up with his contract that we, the Saints have continued to roll over. So it honestly wouldn't surprise me if somehow they make uh, kind of a multi-year deal in order to be able to fiscally make, make sense where they can like kind of place money in certain years and kind of push this debt back that they're eventually going to have to pay off. Um, as far as what this means for the Saints, um, it probably means that Teddy Bridgewater is not coming back. Um, I would imagine my gut feeling is that he's going to get uh, some strong offers on the open market um, as a free agent. We saw yesterday ESPN had a report where uh, they believe that he could potentially see offers of $30 million per year. I think that's a little bit of a stretch for Teddy Bridgewater, even though he played well uh, for the Saints when they called upon him and was 5-0 and as, as a starter. Um, but probably somewhere in the neighborhood of like 20 to $25 million, I would imagine, for Bridgewater on, on some type of maybe small kind of prove-it deal uh, because he has one at the NFL level and Look, when, when you look to the NFL draft, um, you know, if you're not picking one of those top guys like Joe Burrow, if you're having to go down the list to like a Jordan Love out of Utah State, that's kind of a little bit more of a question mark. And you're not really sure whether or not they can do it um, at this elite level. Taysom Hill, I would imagine, he's probably coming back for the Saints. Um, he is a restricted free agent, meaning the Saints are going to have a chance to match any offer that he gets on the open market. Um, that could even be in the form of a first round tender. <clears throat> That they could put on them, or a team would have to, you know, offer um, their best first-round pick in order, in order to be able to swap him out. Um, but I still think that uh, Taysom Hill is someone that the Saints really like, and I know Sean Payton really likes him. And I know in the past sometimes Sean Payton has said really good things about players, and it's been kind of a smokescreen. I don't think that's the case with Taysom Hill. I really think that he thinks he could potentially be. Uh, the heir apparent to Drew Brees once he moves on. But last important thought is this might actually be the final uh, year in this Super Bowl window. Remember, you have big contracts coming up for Alvin Kamara, who's going into his final year of his rookie contract. He was a third-round pick, so you don't have the option for that fifth-year option like you would on guys like Marshawn Lattimore and Ryan Ramchek, who were picked in the first round, uh, number 11 and number 31 uh, overall. So, um, or 32 overall, but point is that some of these guys, they're going to have to make a decision on uh, pretty quickly, um, and whether that's this season or next season, and uh, this might be that final window unless they're able to you know, get another really great rookie draft class this next season that could extend the window, uh, but really I think Breeze is looking at this year right now is we are all in for this season. We've got to do whatever we can to be able to make this happen because there is no tomorrow, and I can't guarantee you uh, that he's going to play a season after this next season. I mean, my feeling is this is probably his last run at it, um, and then he's going to ride off into the sunset, and hopefully that's with another Lombardi trophy.